Hello, it's Mrs. Daly, and I'm going to show you how to make a digital escape room. They are so much fun to create and also really fun to play. So the first thing you want to do is test out some digital escape rooms. And on this page, there are lots of different escape rooms that I've made and that other people have made that you can test out. And they are just so much fun to create either to teach someone something or to show what you know. You are the expert of your literature circle group, of a topic that you've mastered, or maybe it's a skill that you're just really good at. So I encourage you to start off by looking at these four steps to make your own. First, you need to think about your theme. Sometimes I will give my students a specific theme. For example, they're learning about ecosystems and science. So I said it has to be something to do with ecosystems, but you can choose your creature and you can choose how you will um, represent that. Or students get to just create whatever they'd like. Then you're gonna make your clues, your locks, and then for sure you really wanna test out your page yourself. And in my class, I have students responsible for checking at least one of their classmates um, digital escape rooms. So um, really, really important to test it out. Sometimes there's one little thing that you forgot to share and um, you really want it to be solvable. So when you're choosing a theme, it could be a person, it could be a creature, maybe it's an event in history or an event coming up, maybe it's a concept, could be math, could be anything that you want. I love how flexible digital escape rooms are. There's a link in this of how to create a Google site. They're so easy to do and just really fun. Students enjoy making it and customizing it. So um, be sure to watch this video on how to make your own Google site. Um, the clues that you're creating are going to be on this Google site. So you're basically making your own web page. And on that web page, everything should be something that's hinting towards the the locks. So these clues are going to lead the person to the secret passwords that will unlock something. They should be challenging but solvable. So that testing part at the end is important to make sure they're not too easy or too hard. Think about what you want the person doing your digital escape room to show mastery of or what do you want them to learn. And making sure that the different clues that you have are different will be really, really good because variety, you don't want them all to be the same. So here are some that I like to use and all of these are a live link taking you to a site that I like to use for them. You can make your own crossword puzzle. My favorite thing to do with the jigsaw puzzles is create your own image in Google Drawings that have a clue in them using a, a word search you create or secret codes, a time clue. All of these are amazing and you can really use some variety. You can think about what you're specifically doing. One thing that I like to teach my students is how to use this remove background site and they can add an image to maybe an old timey portrait of something that doesn't quite fit in that time period and the removing the background makes that image really fit in well um, and so that can be really fun. So all of these are live links you can check out later. And then you're gonna create your locks using a Google form. So this video is fantastic showing you how to create the the locks using a Google form. And I will make more videos on each of these parts just to show you each part broken out if you need it, but these are great. So some general advice, make sure that you check all the share settings of your clues and on your everything that you're sharing so people can, can get to it. Use a variety of clues. And then please test out your prototype as you're building so that you can adjust. It's so much easier as you're going through your Google site to check it out. But um, even at the end when I have a classmate check out the prototype, there's always that little something that needs to be fixed. So don't try to do this quickly. Just take your time and have fun with it. And then when you get that feedback from the person that tested, to, tested it, really listen to it. Is it too easy, too difficult? Um, my students, sometimes when they're making the jigsaw puzzle, will start off by making it a thousand pieces, and that might be really tedious. So really adjusting. And then be creative. I have some suggestions here, but I know that there are more really fun things that you might create. Um, and I just want to thank um, 
I got to go to a training by Carly Mora for how to make digital escape rooms. She introduced me to them. And then some of the example um, links on here are from Justin. So um, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope you guys enjoy. Happy building.